Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Jonathan Coates, and in today's free AI slash automation training, I'm going to be talking about crude AI. And just following up my series of videos where I'm covering multi agent frameworks such as Autogen, Cognosis, Agent GPT, and I even have the series of installation videos on Auto GPT. So, on this video, I'm going to be talking about crude AI because it's an alternative to Autogen, which about six months ago, I believe either six or nine months ago, between that time frame, I made my first one of my first videos on that subject was a complete crash course on autogen how to download it with lm studio and then use local llms open source models in order to basically power it rather than using chat gpt or any other type of like paid model you can pretty much pay as you go because as you can imagine with the iterations it has the cost go up so i'm going to do that in this video as well i'm going to cover crew ai and how to basically use open source local models instead of chat gpt they have a lot of different information here on their github page now they cover the key features here i'm going to basically run down this with you so i just want to talk about all of the different key features real quick so with crew ai and they do have their own website here i'll leave this in the description it's a role-based agent design customized agents with specific roles goals and tools autonomous inter-agent delegation Agents can autonomously delegate tasks and inquire amongst themselves, enhancing problem solving efficiency, flexible task management, define tasks with customizable tools and assign them to agents dynamically. Processes driven currently only support sequential task execution, the hierarchical processes, which they actually just added this. As you know, if you watch my auto gen videos, I basically explain how the multi-agent framework, they kind of got like this little democracy type setup and they'll have more of a hierarchy where one person's in charge and it's basically just delegating the tasks. So with crew AI, it only supports sequential tasks which may basically means it's just one after the other. And they also have a hierarchical process, but they are adding more such as consensual and autonomous, more complex processes, save output as the file. So you can save the output of any individual task as a file so that you can use it for later. Parse output is Pydantic or JSON. Parse the output of individual task as a Pydantic model or as a JSON if you want to. And it works with, as I was saying earlier with the open source models, you can run your crew using OpenAI. I'll show you in Visual Studio. So I actually have it up right here on a remote desktop and I installed it just now. So in the description, what you're gonna see is just a link so that you can download Visual Studio. So in Bing or in Google, you type in Visual Studio Code, you just go to the main page here to download it in whichever operating system that you're using, whether it be Linux, Mac, or Windows, and just install it from here. And then once you have it all set up, this is gonna come up right here. This is basically the, the, the getting started guide. And you can go through this sort of checklist here for crew ai we're going to use visual studio in this video specifically just to do an introduction and this is basically just like a mini crash course type of deal and i'll make future videos on all of these different multi-agent frameworks as i mentioned in my autogen videos so i want to make more application style videos meaning you see me using them for everyday usages such as income producing activities so i actually had to redo this video so i installed the entire thing on my visual studio here on my shadow pc which is a gaming pc i wasn't able to get it for some reason i was having an issue with my remote desktop the one i normally use for marketing and automation and the one that i have sales gpt on so i tried over and over again with this specific desktop it's just probably just the i got to upgrade to a, a more more advanced model or what have you but let me go ahead and just minimize this so instead of using this one, I decided to use my shadow PC and right down here in the terminal, what I did was, and I'll just go ahead and I'll walk you through the installation from the actual guide here and basically walk you through what I just did. So all you really got to do is just copy this pip install crew AI, or if you want the extra components, which do require more dependencies, but it's not really that big of a deal. You can just install the dependencies, pip install crew AI tools. And what you do is you actually go to the terminal right here. And now on the left hand side, I create a folder called crew AI. And inside that folder, I created a basically a Python file. I did a pip install for crew AI like this. And then I clicked on enter. So it's probably going to try to download it again. So it looks like all the requirements and everything are already satisfied. I got all of this stuff as you can see already, but that's what you want to do. 
Now you can open up a terminal like so with this right here, this opens up the terminal at the bottom, but this template that you see right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just close this terminal. This template that you see right here is what you use to actually set your agents and set their task and their backstory. So let me go over agents real quick. What is an agent? An agent is an autonomous unit program to perform tasks, make decisions, communicate with other agents. Think of an agent as a member of a team with specific skills and a particular job to do. Agents can have different roles like researcher, writer, or customer support, each contributing to the overall goal of the crew. So let's go over the agent attributes. Role. A role defines the agent's function within the crew. It determines the kind of task the agent is best suited for. A goal is the individual objective that the agent aims to achieve. It guides the agent decision-making process. Backstory provides context to the agent's role and goal, en enriching the interaction and collaboration dynamics. The LLM, which is optional, represents the language model that will run the agent. And this is pretty self-explanatory. It dynamically fetches the model name from OpenAI model name, environment variable, defaulting to GPT-4 if it's not specified. Tools is the set of capabilities or functions that the agent can use to perform the task, expected to be instances of custom classes compatible with agent's execution environment. Tools are initialized with the default value of an empty list. Function calling LLM specifies the language model that will handle the tool, calling for this agent overriding the crew function calling LLM if passed. The default is none. The max iter, maximum number of iterations the agent can perform before being forced to give it its best answer. Default is 25. Maximum requests per minute or RPM for short. The maximum number of requests per minute the agent can perform to avoid rate limits is optional and can be left unspecified with the default value of none. Max execution time is the maximum execution time for an agent to execute a task is optional and can be left unspecified with the default value of none. I believe that's supposed to be meaning no max execution time. In verbose, setting this to true configures the internal logger to provide detailed execution logs, aiding in debugging and monitoring. And the default is false, as you saw in the actual template there. Allow delegation. Agents can delegate tasks or questions to one another, ensuring that each task is handed by the most suitable agent and the default is true. And step callback of, is a function that is called after each step of the agent. This can be used to log the agent's actions or to perform other operations, and it will overwrite the crew step callback. And then the cache indicates that the agent should use cache for tool uses and the default is true. Creating an agent. So this is how you can create an agent, basically, you would typically initialize an instance of the agent class with the desired properties. Here's a conceptual example, including all the attributes. So from crew AI, import agent, agent role is data analyst, goal, extract actionable insights, backstory, you're a data analyst at a large company. You're responsible for analyzing data and providing insights to the business. You're currently working on a project to analyze the performance of our marketing campaign. And then you give it the tools, tool one, tool two, and you actually define those. And you give the LLM that it, that it actually pulls from function calling LLM, max iterations, 15, maximum request per minute, none, verbose, true, allow delegation, true, step callback equal my in intermediate step callback, which is optional in the cache equal true. Agents can interact with each other using crew AI's built-in delegation and communication mechanisms. This allows for dynamic task management and problem solving within the crew. So I'm gonna go ahead and start at the very top. You import OS from crew AI, import agent, task, crew, process from crew AI tools, import server dev tool. So this is where you put your API key. Now in LM Studio, when you click on server on the left-hand side here, if you click on this, right here where it says localhost 1234 slash V1, that's actually where you put right here if you want open source models. You basically, create your different agents. So right now in this example, and you can just make the changes, this is just a template, or you can actually click play. So right here is where you actually run the Python file, but you define each agent. So you give the agent a name and you give it a role. So this example is senior research analyst, and then you give it a goal. The goal is uncover cutting edge developments in AI and data science, and then a backstory. You work at a leading tech think tank. Your expertise lies in identifying emerging trends. You have a knack for dissecting complex data and presenting actionable insights. Verbose equal true, allow delegation in this example false. So in this other agent here, we got a writer. His role is a tech content strategist. Goal is craft compelling content on tech advancements. 
your renowned content strategy as the backstory and so forth and so on. And you do that for all of your different agents and then you give them different tasks and you define those tasks. So you have to actually create the task for your agent. So task one for this specific case, the you, you give it a description, conduct a comprehensive analysis of the latest advancements in AI in 2024. And then we got task two, use the insights provided, develop an engaging blog post that highlights the most significant AI advancements. Now these agents are working together. So you can instantiate your crew with the sequential process. Crew equal crew, agents, researcher, and writer, task, task one, and task two. So it's pulling from that. And the verbal is equal to, you can set it to one or two to a different logging levels. So let me go ahead and go over this with you. So at the very beginning, if you remember, we did pip install crew AI. If you want to install crew AI package along with its optional features that include additional tools for agents, you can do so by following the command pip install crew AI tools. This command installs the basic package and also adds extra components which require more dependencies to function. So setting up the crew as I, now this is the actual template that I just went over with you. In addition to the sequential process, you can use the hierarchical process, which automatically assigns a manager to the defined crew to properly coordinate the planning and execution of tasks through delegation and validation of the results. So let me go over that process here with you. So understanding the process. So here are the different processes. Sequential, executes tasks sequentially, ensuring tasks are completed in an orderly progression. Hierarchical, organizes tasks in a managerial hierarchy where tasks are delegated and executed based on a structured chain of command. Manager language model, manager LLM, manager underscore LLM must be specified in the crew to enable the hierarchical processes, facilitating the creation and management of tasks by the manager. Consensual processes planned, aiming for collaborative decision-making among agents on task execution. This process type introduces a democratic approach to task management within crew AI. It is planned for future development and is not currently implemented in the code base. So the role of processes in teamwork, and I'll leave this in the description, it's very informative. I just wanna go over some of this with you. Processes enable individual agents to operate as a cohesive unit, streamline their efforts to achieve common objectives with efficiency and coherence. So when it comes to assigning processes to a crew, you want to specify the process type upon crew creation to set the execution strategy. For a hierarchical process, ensure to define manager underscore LLM for the manager agent. Ensure my agents and my task are defined prior to creation a crew object and for the hierarchical process, manager underscore LLM is also required. Sequential process. This method mirrors dynamic team workflows progressing through task in a thoughtful and systematic manner. Task execution follows the predefined order in the task list with the output of one task serving as context for the next. To customize task context, utilize the context parameter in the task class to specify outputs that should be used as context for subsequent tasks. Now let's talk about the hierarchical process. This emulates a corporate hierarchy. Crew AI automatically creates a manager for you, requiring the specification of a manager language model, manager underscore LLM for the manager agent. This agent oversees task execution, including planning, delegation, and validation. Tasks are not pre-assigned. The manager allocates tasks to agents based on their capability, reviews outputs, and assesses the task completion. Now let's talk about the process class. Just a quick little detailed overview here. The process class is implemented as an enumeration, ensuring type safety and restricting process values to the defined types, sequential, hierarchical. The consensual process is planned for future inclusion, emphasizing our commitment to continuous development and innovation. Additional task features include asynchronous execution. Tasks can now be executed asynchronously allowing for parallel processing and efficiency improvements. This feature is designed to enable tasks to be carried out concurrently, enhancing the overall productivity of the crew. Human input review, an optional feature that enables the review of task outputs by humans to ensure quality accuracy before finalization. This additional step introduces a layer of oversight, providing an opportunity for human intervention and validation. Output customization, tasks support various output formats, including JSON, Pydantic models and file outputs, providing flexibility in how task results are captured and utilized. This allows for a wide range of output possibilities catering to different needs and requirements. So conclusion, the structured collaboration facilitated by processes within Crew AI is crucial for enabling systematic teamwork among agents. This documentation has been updated to reflect the latest features, enhancements, and the planned integration of consensual processes, ensuring users have access to the most current and comprehensive information. 
So I'll go ahead and I'll have this in the description. I'm doing a lot of clicking on the screen here. So that's pretty much it for the video. I wanted to share this with you. It's sort of a crash course and just a brief little walkthrough and installation tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to make more videos about this in the future. I've been covering a lot of different multi-agent framework softwares, and I've been just weighing my options on which one I'm going to use for the Samurai, Health and Fitness Samurai, Master Chef Samurai, Affiliate Marketing Samurai, et cetera. It's a whole nother universe. It's a topic that I'm going to save for another day, but I'm connecting all of this with Sales GPT as well as Super social and mass planner so i have like it's my own little automated autopilot operation achieving my own personal objectives as well as the samurai and the dojo so i hope you enjoyed this video i'm definitely going to be creating more implication style videos in the future where i'm taking these software i'm using them for everyday purposes such as income producing activities all right so be sure to take a look at the tools and the resources below i'll have everything that i included in this video as well as the github repository and the templates and visual studio even the lightning ai software that you can use based strictly on the browser where you don't have to worry about any of the dependency stuff and all that it just works all right so that's it for the video i hope you enjoy if you like content like this then i highly recommend that you check out my website or subscribe to the channel i talk about everything when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales to your business and be sure to take a look at my archives and my categories on my website for artificial intelligence and automation as well as my playlist right here on my youtube channel i have almost 100 videos on the subject all right so with that said i will see you in the next video see you then